let's just how are we all doing? It's Jess, welcome back, and I do apologize for having to be outside at the moment. I literally waited all day for Hubby to go out, and I'm like, Honey, are you gonna be going out anyway? And he's like, mm, No, I can't be bothered. And I'm like, Well, thanks for telling me earlier. Oh, what is this light doing? It was perfect for hate my life, really hate my life. It's so hard. No, the sun is not being my friend. I did ask for sun, but it's a little bit too intense at the moment so we're gonna have to deal with it because otherwise I'm gonna run out of daylight and I don't want to run out of daylight so this is our background my Avery and the tree and yes this is the tree that I actually heard voices from so I'll link that story time video down below so that you can go and have a look at yay all right so this story time is about when I took drugs don't do drugs people um, I was stupid and dumb and completely willing to try anything that would help me to, you know, become loved and have friends and I was with a boyfriend at the time and I was 17, nearly 18, ran away from home, stayed with him and a couple of friends in like this sh weird share housing thing, it was like very divey and gross and I'm actually surprised I didn't get attacked or, you know, taken or something because it was that kind of, you know, a vibe. It was really bad. Anyway, I'm like, no, I'm going to be cool and rebellious and run away from home. So that was the second interruption because I had to move because my ass was literally getting bitten up by ants. Fucking hate ants. I'm so pissed off. Anyway, you didn't even want to know where I am at the moment. Try and have a guess. I bet you won't guess. Anyway, back to the story. Um, so I was in this really, really divey place. And legit, like, it was basically like a crack bin. That's how bad it was. It was so bad. And, um... There was an older couple, like a man and a woman, who were drug addicts. Anyway, I think that one was trying to come off cocaine. I don't remember. But, um, I've been there for a couple of hours and they were trying to get to sleep and they're like, do you want to have some temazepam? I had no idea what temazepam was, like none. I don't even know if I'm saying it properly, but temazepam. It's a sleeping aid or a... One that knocks you out, drug. Anyway, I watched them do it. At first, I said no. Um, they did it with needles. I don't even remember if I did it with needles or not. It was that long ago, and I got that fucked up by it. So I really regret doing it because a, you know, I could have easily have gotten sick from it. Like I could have caught disease or anything from it. Anyway, I did get later on checked out because my mum found it and made me go to the doctors. So basically I think I did a needle, like an injection of it. Pretty sure it was a clean needle though because I didn't get sick. Like luckily, thank the gods, I did not get sick. Because, you know, I was only 17 that would have been really, 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 really fucked up. And like for a while I'm like, this isn't doing anything and everyone is like starting to doze off and I'm like why is it not working for me anyway for some reason I start tripping out on this medication and I don't know if this is normal I think for some people it can react differently and I know temazepam is meant to be a prescription only drug like it's meant to be overseen by a doctor or psychiatrist and obviously these two weren't any of them so yeah, I think they just thought, oh, you know, your friends will give me some. So I start tripping out, like literally I start hearing voices that are like going in the back of my mind and I'm like going, who the fuck says that? I start feeling really paranoid. I don't normally suffer with paranoia. I suffer with anxiety, a little bit different. So I'm like going, don't really know what's going on. 
and I'm like looking around to see where the voices are coming from. Anyway, at this stage we had gone to bed. We were kind of in this little balcony thing that had been enclosed and I think it was like four stories up. And I start going to find these voices. Like literally I start looking for these voices because I'm like, I'm sure there's someone talking to me and there obviously wasn't. Anyway, I start hunting around like it was in this really, really dirty building that we were in and there was trash everywhere. Disgusting. And I look over the edge of the balcony because there's a bit that wasn't closed in. Safe, I know. And I'm looking over and I'm like, oh, the voices are down there. I can hear them. They're coming from down there. So this is from four stories up. And I'm starting to climb over the balcony. And luckily my boyfriend at the time goes, Jess, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm looking for the voices. I'm like, can't you hear the voices? He's like, I can hear your voice. Are you okay? Because he'd slept for a couple of hours by then and was like completely fine. But I'm tripping completely. Like, and the next morning, like, because, you know, he can't me down and said, there's no voices. It's just in your head. And I finally got to sleep. But it was like a really weird kind of doped sleep, so don't do drugs. So that, guys, that was my story time for when I did drugs. Technically not an illegal drug, but I think it should be. Because it's a really fucked up drug. And yeah. Um, hopefully next video will be in my usual spot, because this is starting to make my head in, I swear. And then yeah if you do like these kind of videos please give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below if you've had any experiences like that and follow me on social media bye